Hello and welcome along to the food review. Look what I've got. It's from Birdseye. So this is a chicken tikka masala with rice and it's made with 100% chicken breast. Not M&S, I've done a lot of M&S lately. So it'd be interested to see the old bird's eye. So it compares, two pound 50 RRP. And just looking at the instructions before, uh, they for the tastiest, they said microwave it, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. So as usual, I'm gonna have a look at the packaging, get out of that box, show you everything you need to know. Maybe I can recommend this to you or not. Cook it, then uh, I'll do the taste test. But uh, let's have a look at the box. Bird's eye, chicken tikka masala with rice, recommended £2.50 RRP. So this is what it looks like, it's looking, looks nice, we've got the rice, this is serving suggestions, and we've got made with 100% chicken breast. If we look down here, we've got uh, per curry microwave provides, so we've got 70% salt, eight, percent sugars, 16 saturates, 17 percent fat and 25 percent energy and this is reference intake of an average adult and it's average values per hundred there you go if you're interested in that and let's just have a little turn around the back and see what we got here so it's pretty much the same on the other side and just here we have some information on the ingredients. So we've got pieces of cooked chicken breast with onions and tomatoes in a spicy tikka masala sauce with long grain rice. So this is a mild one, mild, so it's not gonna blow my head off, which is good. And uh, for allergies, see ingredients in capital letters. So if you have got any allergies, this is where to look. Uh, just quickly looking, there's milk, 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 milk. I think it's all milk. Yeah. So take a look at that. And we got the nutritional information there. 400 grams and the package contains one portion, which is perfect because it's for me. And here, making a difference with responsibly sourced and prepared food every day. And it's for a sustainable tomorrow. There we go. And we have no artificial flavors or preservatives. And like I said before, it's mild. So don't worry if you don't like spicy stuff, because this will probably be okay. Here we go, to prepare, taste just when microwaved straight from the freezer. So that's what we're gonna do. This is, is straight from the freezer. And I will be microwaving it. Alternatively, you can oven bake, but we'll do, looks like they're recommending the freezer, didn't they? They're recommending the microwave. Remove out of packaging and pierce film lid. Microwave on full power four. I've got 700 watts, so I do seven minutes. Then it looks like you've got a carry on, peel the film lid, stir, uh, sorry, stir rice, then sauce. Microwave again. So you've got to replace the film. Microwave on full power, so it'd be another five minutes. Stand for one minute and um, stir and serve. So yeah, so we've got to put it in for a bit, get it out, stir it, put it back in. And as usual, it says the tray may soften on heating and will regain rigidity. Am I saying that right? On standing. So you gotta be careful, they do soften sometimes, yeah. And uh, sometimes they say this, although great care has been taken to remove the bones, some may remain. Although I've never ever found the bone in anything that said that but I suppose there's always a first alternatively you can oven bake so it would be fan 180 which is what I have and it'd be 40 45 minutes but yeah I'm gonna microwave for this one yeah I think that's it isn't it done all that yeah well there we go so let's uh, get it unboxed and stick it in the microwave.
Well, here we are. So just taking it out the microwave. I'm leaving it stand for about a minute. But yeah, so it's done its time. Rice is, looks and cooked, effing looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it to a plate. And I'm probably going to mix it up a bit. Um, because I like eating it like that. And I'll see how it is. But it smells, it smells nice. It smells like a, a curry, which is <laughs> always a good sign. And it doesn't smell like the cheap, tacky... You know, it smells like a proper curry. Very nice, deep smells, or you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get it on the plate. Now for the taste test. Let's see what it's like. It smells really good. So I'm gonna get some rice here. So it's got rice included as well. Let's get a nice mouthful. Let's get a bit of chicken. A bit of chicken as well, yeah. Mm. A little bit. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> well, definitely tastes like a chicken tikka masala, number one, which is always a good start. Um, remember, it is mild. Mmm. The chicken bits are nice. So there is chicken bits, like I always say, sometimes you can't find the chicken. There is chicken in there. The sauce is nice. Obviously it's with rice as well. Um, it's for one person, I think it's a decent portion. You saw in the pictures just now. Um, I'm just gonna try one more and I'm gonna let you know on the taste. Just to double check. To be honest with you, it's fine. I mean, it's two fifty. Um, it's it's good. It's you know it's from bird's eye. It's what a take microwave job. Tastes are there. Nice texture. It doesn't taste weird or anything like that. You know sometimes they can taste really weird. It tastes proper. I mean anyone who has curries would probably like that. I say it's very mild. Although I've got a bit of an aftertaste. But yeah, chicken in there, rice, sauce is very pleasant. Yeah, good job. I'll give that a solid eight, eight out of ten. It's only two fifty. And uh I say it's done in like ten minutes. You know you remember you can always do it in the oven, but yeah. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm gonna eat the rest of that in a minute. Remember if you want to see more reviews in my kitchen, remember to subscribe to the channel. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, take care and I'll see you again next time.